Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of How It's Made here at PEG. Today we're going to look at an interesting transition we did for a GE video a few years back. So let's take a look at the final product. Convergence of smartphones, LED lighting, and high-speed internet access makes this happen. And one more time. Calculate the relative placement of people and things. The convergence of smartphones, LED lighting, and high-speed internet access. Very cool. So, uh, yeah, really unique transition. Let's take a look at how we did that. As you might imagine, this all starts out with uh, some green screen footage. No, he's not actually standing in that store. As you can see, we have our green screen footage here that we've then done a garbage mat on to take out some of uh, the parts we don't need on the outside edge. And we've keyed that. And uh, if you take a look at the footage, we did not, of course, put in 3D that phone into his hand. He is literally throwing one of our iPhones off the side of the frame. A little scary, uh, but, you know, at the shoot, basically, we just had somebody with uh, pretty good hands catch that. And we put some pillows around, just in case. Don't want anybody running to the Apple store after a shoot to get a phone replaced. Once we see that phone go out of frame there, uh, let's take a dive back into our main composition here, and we can sort of see what's happening if we go frame by frame, which of course helps hide it, he throws the phone and we go from the actual footage to our 3D modeled and then rendered footage of an iPhone. So to do that, we took a reference uh, clip, brought it into Cinema 4D as you'll see here. And as he throws the phone, our phone follows that exact same initial path and then has its own path that brings us up to that icon position. Now, if you look closely in that final clip, uh, one of the things you'll see is that it initially looks like a regular phone with the normal coloring, and then it becomes an icon, which you're not seeing here. So to do that, we basically made uh, one project that had all the correct coloring, and then we made a secondary project, exact same motion path, only difference is this exists as a pure icon coloring. And then all we need to do from there is render both of those out and bring them into After Effects. Uh, as you'll see here, this is the regular iPhone coloring, flipping and then going up. And we've got some keyframes here that bring on the second iPhone look. So if we go frame by frame, just at these two layers, which are now isolated, you can see the phone come up and then slowly dissolve into the icon look. So let's show that frame by frame with our regular footage on. So the motion blur, like a lot of things in special effects, is covering the transition. So at full speed, it looks like one smooth toss. And it looks like the phone magically stops, hovers, and it becomes an icon. Pretty cool. Uh, you know, unique transition, something you don't see very often, and definitely was eye-catching at the trade show it was used in. And that's pretty much it. So from Jeffrey here at PEG, thanks for joining us once again, and we'll see you on the next episode of How It's Made.